Some of your employees may not be performing as well as others. In fact, one third of employees typically perform below expectations. And I'll give an example of that and talk about how to deal with it in this video. Hello, I'm Steven Goldberg of Optimist Performance, bringing you practical tips and ideas on leadership, team development, and employee performance in the workplace. Yesterday, I was speaking with two young entrepreneurs that are faced with growth challenges in their business. Good ones, but the challenges revolve around some of their employees who are not meeting expectations. And this is really one third of their workforce and happens to be the younger generation. I actually have a video talking about the rule of thirds and I also have a worksheet that coincides with that that you can consult to see which of your employees fall into that rule of thirds. And you wanna break that rule. And, and that's exactly what these two young entrepreneurs wanna do. They wanna figure out either how to get these one third of uh, employees up to the two thirds or replace them. And so the effort's gonna be made because today it's not easy to find new employees and that may take time. So in the meantime, what can you do about that one third that aren't meeting expectations? And it's interesting because they had shifted their responsibilities where the manager who's managing those employees now used to be in sales and the salesperson used to uh, be the one managing those employees. And what's interesting is now that they've shifted their roles, they both have different management styles where the current manager is much more autocratic and the previous one who was who is now handling the sales is much more democratic or diplomatic in his approach and was able to engage those workers better so the first part of the solution is to understand yourself understand what type you are and how that drives your management style and then to understand the people that you're working with and what types they are and also their attitudes. Because there's two things. There's the type of person that you are and your attitude which drives behaviors and performance. Now attitudes can be changed, but your type cannot. You're, you are who you are and what you need to do as a leader, as a manager, is need to understand that and adjust yourself according to the type of person. But when it comes to attitude, that can be changed by applying different strategies. One of them is to set agreements with the person and to apply penalties and rewards. And when they meet those expectations, you give a reward whether it be a monetary or physical reward, or simply just a recognition and positive feedback. That can be very powerful in itself. And there needs to be a penalty too. So sometimes that means progressive discipline where you give warnings, but before you go to that, you want to address the issue with the person and confront them based on the agreement that you set. And if it doesn't work, then you start using progressive discipline. And while you're doing that, of course, you start looking for other employees. Now, one of the strategies I suggested is to train or get the two thirds top performing employees to act as leaders or trainers to the one third that are performing below expectation. So these are techniques that I'll be teaching these leaders and showing them how to coach and train their employees the same way. So check out my other video on the rule of thirds. I'll put a link to that in the description of this video. It might be coming up on screen now uh, if you click on that eye icon. And I'll also put a link to where you could download the worksheet that goes along with it. Check out some of the other videos on the channel. Check out also the blog section of our website where you could find many articles related to this. There's also 
as I mentioned, documents and templates, worksheets you can download. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for listening, and we'll talk again soon.